Hey world, uh, it's your boy Mr. Proclivative here, sound audio engineer at P-Clip Records LLC, uh, member of the Manhattan Project. Um, today I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about Logic Pro X. Um, there was a few things with Logic Pro X that were very different actually um, upon opening it, but what I wanted to talk to you guys today about was something that I actually personally had a struggle with when I first opened the software. Um, I was very used to Logic Pro 9 um, with, you know, using Ultra Beat and uploading my sounds in there and things. And Logic uh, Pro X, they made a new drum interface. So uh, basically what I want to show you guys is how to get Ultra Beat. In Logic Pro X and how to upload your sounds and keep them in there. So first thing we're going to do of course is create a track as you've seen me do. Uh, we're going to go down here to Legacy, uh, Logic, Drums and Percussion and you'll see your Ultra Beat drum kit. So you want to click that. Now you're going to have all your drum kits listed here. Uh, these come with Logic Pro uh, 9 um, and they're here in Logic Pro X in the Legacy tab. So you want to go over to drag and drop sample kits. Now it's going to um, show you the uh, sample kits, but what I was used to, of course, was in Logic Pro 9. Once you click that tab, Ultra Beat would automatically pop up, and then you could um, import your sounds. With this, it's a little bit different. Once you click the drag and drop samples kit, um, you're going to have to go over to the Ultra Beat tab over here in the track and click in the center. This here would be to turn the plugin off or the insert off, and this is to turn it back on. But the middle here is where you can actually edit. So when you click that, there is Ultra Beat. There is what I'm used to dealing with on the regular basis. With Logic Pro 9. Um, now what you want to do is, here's where you would put in your sample, your, your drum samples. Uh, for me, I keep all my samples right on the desktop, so if I go to my desktop, uh, go to my sound folder, here's all my sounds. I can go inside and, you know, click a sound, test it, see that it works. Now import it into uh, my Ultra Beat. Now, to save the sound, because here's what's going to happen. If you leave the sound here, and say I was just to X out of this, and make my beat however I make it, and then I quit this program. When I open the program, it's going to ask me uh, where's the sound located. So what we have to do is make sure that once we put the sound in, that we then go up top right where it says use your default and save the sound and it's going to save it to the ultra beat folder which we want it to and we'll just name it something so we name it kick and you press save now you're going to see kick at the top which allows you to know that it's been saved and then you won't have a problem opening it up next time it's just going to open right up and your kicks will be there so that's just a little tip, a little something um, that I struggled with when I first uh, encountered Logic Pro X. Was just where is my Ultra Beats sounds and where can I upload them? So that's where you can do it at. Um, I'll be posting more videos very shortly on Logic Pro X and uh, giving y'all some more tips as I go along here. Uh, so until next time, peace.